Now we're not rolling. We're rolling now. We have our patient, Batman. <laughs> Tell us why they called you Batman. Because I didn't know I was in Afghanistan. I didn't sleep at night. I was always up. How much time did you spend in Afghanistan? Year and a half. No kidding. And and were you on a repair crew then? Mm -hmm. Did you? All right. Well, um, let's back up. Batman here has some elbow pain. How long has this been bothering you? Mm, two weeks. Two weeks. And this all started from a visit you and I had about a month ago, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we decided that your hemoglobin A1C was elevated, that mm -hmm. you actually are pre-diabetic, right? Exactly. Okay. And so as a result, you're trying to lose some weight, do some exercise mm -hmm. to help improve your A1C or improve your glucose tolerance, correct? That's correct. And so one of the things that Batman decided to do was a bunch of push-ups. <laughs> Guess what you did? You cause this condition. So we have a lateral left condylitis or tennis elbow condition. And it's acutely tender, right? Very painful. And it just came on. You've not had this problem before, right? No. Okay. So we're Okay, guys, wanted to take just a moment and give you a quick look at what the anatomy under the skin uh, looks like here. And you can see uh, the humerus and the uh, olecranon process as well as the extensor muscles and tendon of the forearm. And if you look at that little red uh, circle that's been drawn, you can see that is the point of tenderness. It's an overuse problem. Uh, and in Batman's case, it's from doing a lot of push-ups, but it can be caused by any movement that leads to uh, an extension of the forearm at the elbow. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you a little cortisone shot in there. We're going to locate the lateral epicondyle right there. And that's our part of the humerus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty tender right there, right? So the extender tendons of the forearm all uh, originate here or insert here. Okay, so we're going to make a little dimple. We're going to get the shot right there. That's our spot. Right, Gonzo? See. You ever had a cortisone shot before? Mm -hmm. In your knees? Oh, yeah, you had a lot of trouble with your knees, didn't you? Mm -hmm. You jumped out of planes, too, didn't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're either fixing them or jumping out of them, huh? Yeah. I've had one on my shoulder. I don't know if it was this shoulder or that shoulder, but I've had a couple of my knees. Yeah? And one in the back of my heel, too. You ended up having surgery on the knees, right? Yeah. Did you have a replacement? No, they want to replace this one, but mm -hmm. they to wait a little while. So I've had three on this one and two on this one. I've had a micro fracture on the right. Okay, so you've had a lot of stuff go on. <laughs> You're no stranger to the uh, orthopedic uh, table. All right, you ready? Don't you got the cold spray? See. Si. Right there, give us a little cold stream. And we're going to give you a little stick. You ready, my friend? Mm -hmm. A little stick. Back up some. How's that feeling? I'm actually going to redirect just once. I want to make sure that we get what we want to get. He ain't even flinching. That's because he's a real man, right? <laughs> How'd that feel? Good. How's this now? Is it hurting less? Yeah, it's numbing up already a little bit. All right, Don's, thank you. I had some ESI injections about a year ago on my lower back. Did you? Yeah. All right, what you're going to do tonight, about an hour before you go to bed, I want you to mm -hmm. ice, uh, ice your elbow here for about 20 minutes. Okay. And I want you to take it easy on the push ups. Okay. All right, because no matter what we do, if you continue to do lots and lots of push-ups mm -hmm. trying to get in shape, you're going to re-aggregate yeah. this. So let's find some different exercises to do that are a little less impact or a little less strain on the joints. Gotcha. Uh, thanks for letting us record your video for our YouTube friends. Gracias. Thank thanks, you. man. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, Batman. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, watch the Meta 7 video, guys. Don't be embarrassed. And you don't get to rehearse. Do I say my name? No. Okay. So tell us about your experience with Meta 7. Hey, it's been great. Um, lots lots more energy. Um, I was kind of in a slump and I wasn't working out and I started the Meta 7 and I'm working out. I've got more energy. I don't want to nap or get that slump during like two o'clock in the afternoon. I just go, go, go all day. It makes me feel great. I love it. And um, take it. It's wonderful stuff. Wonderful. Do you feel jittery and shaky? Any of that kind of experience? Not at all. Not feel at all. Feel natural. Yes. Yes. Terrific. Thanks for sharing. Sure. My name is Gabby and I have been doing rest more for almost a year and a half now. And I'm really, really persistent on this product. I love it. It has made me to where I just take two of them and in about 30 minutes or so I am relaxed and I can go to sleep very, very well. It doesn't make me necessarily knocked out and completely drowsy, but it definitely puts my mind and my body in the right state to where 
I can go to sleep in a relaxed and calm state.